Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make another YouTuber statue. This time, I'll be showing you how to make LD Shadow Lady. By the way, just in case you have any more YouTuber statue related needs, feel free to check out the card system and the link below down in the description for my YouTuber statue tutorials playlist. It exists and there are a lot of them in there. Moving on to Shadow Lady. If you want to make her, here's what you're going to need. You will need some white stained clay and some pink stained clay. Then grab yourself some black wool, some light grey wool, then some white, pink, dark blue, cyan, and grab yourself some light blue wool. And unfortunately, we will need a few more colors later on, but we'll just have to grab those as we need them. So, once you have each one of these materials right here, and once you've figured out what you want to make her, I'll be making it right here. You're going to want to kick off your statue with a row of eight black wool in a row on the floor. That's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And once you have your row of eight black wool, this is what you want to do next. So directly on top of that row of eight black wool, you want to stack three more rows of eight black wool. So that'll be one, two, three. Three directly on top of it. So we've marked those out and we can now fill those in. We've just got one more row to add, in fact. So, including the first row, we now have four rows of black wool. What you now want to do is add seven rows of white stained clay. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we can just add all of those on, can't we? Of course, we've got to go left to right, adding all of these in. Very easy to start to this statue. Just four rows of black and seven rows of white stained clay. So you want to end up with something that should look like this. For the next row, going from left to right, do this sequence of blocks. Do one dark blue, two white clay, two dark blue, two white clay, one dark blue. Perfect. For the next row, do two pink wool, then make the rest of the row dark blue. For the next row, do two pink wool, one light blue, one light grey, one dark blue, Two light blue, one pink wool. For the next row, do two pink wool, one dark blue, two light blue, two dark blue, one pink wool. For the next row, do three pink wool, then four dark blue, then one pink wool. For the next row, do three pink wool. Then uh, three dark blue, then two pink. For the next row, do uh, three pink wool, two white wool, one dark blue, two pink wool. For the next row, do two pink wool, one dark blue, two cyan, one dark blue, two pink wool. For the next two rows, do two pink wool. One dark blue, two white, one dark blue, two pink wool. And of course, once you've done that to one row, you want to do the exact same thing just above it. So once you've got that first row taken care of, you then want to do the exact same thing just above it, like that. For the next row, do two pink wool, one cyan, two pink, one cyan, two pink. For the next row, do two pink, one light grey, two white stained clay, one light grey, two pink wool. And for the final row of the torso of the statue, do two pink wool, four white stained clay, two pink wool to give you something which should look exactly like this. And here we are. Here are Shadow Lady's legs and torso 100% fully complete. All we have to do now to the front of the statue to get that up and working is both of the arms. So this is what you want to do next, guys. Come all the way up to the top right hand corner of your statue. You're looking for this pink block that we have right here. Going right of this pink block, do a row of four dark blue wool. One, two, three, four. Then underneath this row of four dark blue wool, do seven more rows of dark blue. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can just fill those in, can't we? So underneath that first initial row, do seven rows of dark blue wool. 
Then, once you've done your seven rows, you then want to do a row of white wool underneath that seventh dark blue. Then, still coming down, do a row of cyan. Then, a row of white. Then, a row of white stained clay. And what you'll end up with, if everything's went right, is something that should look exactly like this. And that is the arm 100% fully completed. Nice and simple, right guys? Once you've done that first arm, we now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So coming up to this corner block here, we first of all do our row of four dark blue. One, two, three, four. We then do our seven rows of dark blue coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then fill those in. And then we do this sequence of rows. We do one white wool, one cyan, one white wool, one white stained clay to give you something which should look in total a little bit like this. Nice and simple, guys. Once you've got the front of your statue taken care of, we can now move around to the back of the statue. So once you've reached this point right here, and obviously pause this if necessary if you're still working on it, you now want to work your way around to the back of the statue, come all the way down to the bottom of it, and take each one of the bottom two corners of the statue and extend them coming out of the back of the statue each by three with your black wall. So that's one, two, three, and... One, two, three. Simple as that. Oh, and also connect each one of those third blocks together. So you kind of just want to end up with a U shape with your black wall that should look exactly like that. Nice and simple, guys. And of course, what we're now going to do is we're going to build up the entire back of the statue on top of these eight black back blocks that we have right here. Exactly how we just built up the entire front of the statue. Let's get to it. So on top of these eight back blocks that we have right here, do three rows of black wool directly on top. One, two, three, and of course, one, two, three. Once you've done your three rows of black wool, you then want to do your seven rows of white stained clay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we just have to fill those in now. So that'll be two, three, four, five, six, and seven rows of white stained clay. You then, for the next row, after the white stained clay, want to do a single white stained clay on the ends of your row, and then do dark blue wool everywhere else in between. For the next row, going from left to right, do two dark blue, four pink wool, two dark blue. For the next row, do uh, two white wool, four pink, two white wool. For the next row, do a single dark blue on the ends of your row, and then pink wool everywhere else. Then, with your pink wool, all you have to do to complete the back of the statue is just equal the height of the front of the statue with your pink wool, and just fill in as many rows as it takes to reach the top of the front of the statue, which it's really, really easy, guys. All you have to do, just keep adding layers and layers of pink wool until you have equaled the height of the front of the statue. And all we're doing now is basically, with the pink wool, we're just adding in her hair. Her hair flows mainly just about all the way down to her, uh, all the way down to her bum on the on the back of the statue, and that's what that pink is. It's pretty much comprised of just that. So. Once you've got all of that pink wool added, once you've equaled the height of the front of the statue, all we have to do now are the backs of the arms. The backs of the arms are really simple, guys, because they are just in the exact same position on the back as they are the front, and coincidentally, they also look the exact same. So all you have to do to do the backs of the arms are just, or is, rather, good grammar here, is just look directly forward at the front of the statue and just apply everything that you have on the front of the statue directly onto the back, obviously, in the equivalent position which is exactly what I'm doing now except very poorly because blue wool is going absolutely everywhere that's one arm done and we're shortly moving over to the second arm as a matter of fact I'm speaking past because we have already moved on to this other arm so we've just got blue wool to add in now so like, by the way, guys, the reason that the speech and the grammar, everything's all over the place, once again in England, it is just incredibly warm in here. Uh, my brain is frying, that's why I sound like an idiot. Then again, I always do sound like an idiot. I can't blame it on the weather all the time, can I? So, this is what you want to have for the entire back 
of the statue. This is, this is exactly what you want to have. Very, very simple, guys. The back of the arms, exact same as the front of the arms. Most of the back is very similar to the front, other than, of course, the upper half of the statue, which is mainly pink. Once you guys have reached this point right here, and obviously pause this if necessary, if you're still working on that, of course, we can now move on to the sides of the statue. So, the sides of the statue are also extremely easy. All you have to do on the sides of the statue is match the color that you have on the left and right hand side of you. And all you have to do is just fill that color in between. So, for instance, where you have white stained clay, you just want to fill in white stained clay. Where you have black wool, you just want to fill in black wool. And all the way up here at the top, where you have like white stained clay on the left and dark blue wool on the right, what you want to do here is this left spot wants to be filled in with dark blue wool, and that's it. This right spot wants to be filled in with white stained clay. And that's just like the frill of the skirt going around, that's just the pattern. And that is the only instance in which you can't just follow the white stained clay here, white wool there, cyan there, so on and so forth. So you just want to, once you've got the legs taken care of, want to follow the exact same strategy going all the way up the side of the arm and including the top of the arm as well. When you get to the top of the arm here, just fill these three rows in with dark blue wool and you will be absolutely fine. And just to show you guys what this side of the statue should look like, there we go, should look exactly like this. As I said, the only instance there is right at the top of the leg there, we've just got a multicolored row, we've got dark blue on the left and we've got white stained clay on the right. Doesn't make a massive amount of difference, but it does make a difference. Once you've got this first side taken care of, we can now move all the way over to this opposite side here. So moving to this opposite side, first of all, we're just going to do the black wool, very poorly again, and then we will do the white stained clay till we reach all the way up to the top of the leg here. And then we will place a single dark blue on the right hand side here, closer to the back of the statue. And then we can just proceed to fill the rest of the arm in with what it needs filling in with. So there we have white stained clay. Here we have white wool, cyan, white, then I believe it's dark blue all the way up to the top here. And of course it's dark blue once we get to the top of the shoulder. Boom. And there we go, guys. That is what you want to have for that second side of the statue. Very, very simple. Nothing much to it whatsoever. Once you've got that taken care of, all we have to do now is the head. So as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course. Once you have got that taken care of, however, we can now move on to the next bit. So come all the way to the front of the statue and come all the way up to the top of the torso. On top of these eight original blocks of the torso, you want to stack a row of eight pink walls. So just start off the head by doing a row of eight pink walls. Once you've done that, you then, in front of this row of eight pink, want to do two rows of this. Do a single pink on the ends of your row, and then do white stained clay everywhere else in between. So you just want to have two rows which should look like this. Just like that. Perfect. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now build upon this second outward row here. And this is just going to be the entire face that we're going to be building up now. So directly on top of this row, going from left to right, do this sequence of blocks. Do one pink wall, one pink clay, four white stained clay, one pink clay, one pink wall. For the next row, do one pink wall, one white, one dark blue, two white clay, one dark blue, one white, one pink. For the next row, do two pink wool, one dark blue, two white clay, one dark blue, one light blue wool, one pink. Now, for the next row, we're going to have to introduce a new color. So you can probably just get rid of your light blue wool, and you will need to grab yourself some brown stained clay, or a brown material in general. Once you've done that, we can then do the next row. So for the next row, do, do five pink wool, one, two, three, four, five, then two brown wool, then one pink wool. For the next row, do six pink wool, one white stained clay, one pink wool. And for the final two rows of the face, just do two solid rows of pink. So that'll be one and two stacked directly on top of each other to give you something which should look like this. Perfect. Nice and simple, guys. Now, once you've got that complete, we can move on to the rest of the head, guys. So, come all the way around to the back of the head, and starting from this original row of eight pink wool that we placed for the head, you're going to, with your pink wool, extend that first initial row 
over the back of the statue until it overhangs the back of the statue by two rows. So like this one and two rows overhanging the back of the statue until you have something which should look like that. Nice and easy guys. Once you've got that taken care of, you now want to take the two back corners of the head, the two back corners of the last row that you placed, raise them until they are equal height with the front of the head, and then connect them to the front of the head and also connect them together as well. We're looking for a nice empty cubish shape, like this. Once you've got your cube shape, all you have to do to complete your shadow lady is completely fill it in with pink wool, which is exactly what I'm doing here. We're now just filling the head in with pink wool, and that will actually complete our skin statue. Although, there are a couple of option optional extras if you guys want to do them, and when I say a couple, it's really hair-based, but it does make the statue look a little bit cooler. So, once we've filled this in, I'll just let you guys know what you might want to do if you just want to make this statue stand out a little bit more so than the regular just 2D, well, they are 3D, but the re just the regular skin statues. So... Once you've completely filled the head in with your pink wool like this, you may decide that you want to make the hair on the front of the torso and the back of the torso, the back, you may want to make that look a little bit more 3D. So if you want to take out your pink wool and if you want to just kind of like go over the pink that we have on the front and the back of the statue, just so that it sticks out by one row and makes it look a little bit more animated, a little bit more 3D, not that it isn't 3D, that's what I was saying earlier because it is, uh, it just makes a little bit of a difference. Now you can see that her hair's a little, little bit out of it. it. It just gives a little bit more character and of course if you want to do the exact same thing on the back here, we've got a lot more to do on the back, but we, uh, we can definitely do it. So if you, with your pink wall on the back, just want to extend all of these rows out by one give her a lovely mane on the back very much like a horse never seen a horse dyed pink i should probably google that because i would really like to see that actually but we've just about finished this and once you've done it on the back as well it should end up looking a little bit like that i think it looks a little bit better on the front but it definitely adds something to the back as well now once you've done that you should have 100 percent fully completed your statue or at least i hope you have so let's take a look at this thing shall we so if you've managed to follow the tutorial all the way over to here if you have something which looks exactly like this you have 100 percent fully completed your skin statue pretty cool looking statue isn't she she's a really nice statue i haven't even heard of her guys i these people with millions and millions and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they just absolutely fly by my radar. I have no idea that most of these guys exist, or girls exist, I should say. Well, hopefully you guys have managed to make her. Hopefully you like your statue. If you did like your statue, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a share, a favorite. Guys, anything you would feel like doing to help me out, I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment, let me know what other YouTubers you would like to see me make, or skin statues in general. Before you do that, I would really appreciate it if you could actually check out the card system and the link below down in the description first for my YouTuber statue tutorials playlist, because I have already made a lot of them, and we don't want to get any repeats, do we guys? So... All of that being said, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next tutorial.